Hi, this is Trey Crasso. Welcome to my review of A Quiet Place, Part 2. Of course, this is a sequel to A Quiet Place that came out uh, a few years ago, and I was looking forward to this. Of course, it got delayed because of the pandemic, but this is the first movie that uh, it's in the theater exclusively, I think. Well, not, I don't know if it's the first one exclusively, but this one they made exclusive uh, uh, to the cinemas, but I think it's only going to stay in the movie theaters for 45 days before it comes on Paramount Plus, okay, who, you know, who's producing this. Anyway, uh, of course, this is a sequel to A Quiet Place, too. And like you see in the trailer, they actually, uh, this was directed by John, you know, written and directed by John Krasinski. And it actually is sort of a prequel and a sequel. Uh, okay, so they give you a little insight of how things started, which I thought is a nice little touch. And that way you get John Krasinski to be back in the movie <laughs> for a little bit, which I thought was a nice touch. Of course, it stars Everly Blunt as his wife, you know, who just recently had her, you know, the baby, of course. Then you have uh, Noah Juke, who plays uh, the young, the young son. Well, not the youngest son, <laughs> the uh, I guess the oldest son, uh, Marcus. And then you have Millicent Simmons, who plays Reagan Abbott. You know, she's the oldest daughter, oldest kid, who's really deaf. He's deaf on the, in the movie and deaf in real life. Okay. And then you also have Sylvain Murphy in here. He plays a character named Emmett. Okay. And Again, this, this is a sequel and a prequel, so we, again, like I said, we see a little bit of the beginning of how this all started, and then we see, you know, the aftermath of, of the first movie, okay? And I like, what I liked about this sequel, of course, like, or any sequel, I think the good, I, the good idea of it is to make sure that, you know, you tell, you don't tell the exact same story, you kind of advance the story, in my opinion, that would make a good sequel when you kind of advance the story and you give it, and you have something a little different than the first movie, so that way, you know, I think it, it'll be interesting. You still have the elements that people like from the first movie, but you kind of do something different. And I think this movie succeeded in doing that. Okay, without spoiling it, I, I thought uh, the performances was really good in this. Of course, usually Emily Bunn is a great actress. And Sidney Murphy, you know, he's a really good actor too. And Noah Juke, who plays the uh, <laughs> the oldest son, Marcus Abbott. The, what I like about him, or what's, I guess what's is consistent, I guess, from the first movie to the second movie, is this kid, <laughs> this kid who, I don't know, his reactions to me are normal, are normal, you know, you don't have this, a kid that's like super brave and, and doesn't, he, 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 you know, he has real fear, okay, and he displays it really well to me, in my opinion, he, you know, he's not BSing, you know, trying to put on a brave front or anything, he, you know, he's scared, he's scared, <laughs> and he lets you know that he's scared, he's not BSing. Okay, he doesn't want to take no unnecessary chances and stuff. <laughs> I don't know, it just, I like because he's, to me, that's more realistic to me. And, you know, especially with you dealing with these creatures that they have to deal with. And then Millicent Simmons, who plays the older daughter, the oldest kid, uh, Reagan Abbott. I really liked her in this movie, too. Exactly. She kind of, she does remind you, and you can see the, the similarities between her character and uh, uh, John Krasinski's character, who's, who played her father, and how they act. And what I like about her, her, and, and you know, I was just talking about how the youngest, the the older son, how he he's realistically scared of everything. And she, I think she has that fear too, but she's also has a, a strength. I think uh, that I think that she gets from her parents. She has a strength that, that she's, you know, that she wants, you know, she wants to survive, and she's going to do what she has to do to survive. But she also wants to move ahead, which I I think really is an important key to this movie. And to me is that her character doesn't want to just this 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 exist. She wants to try to do things and make the world better, which I thought was really good. And I think this actress, you know, who plays Reagan, I think she's really good and she really displays that really well. And I like I like the way she plays off uh Cillian Murphy's character of Emmett, who plays this he's, he guess he was a neighbor of the of the parents and stuff and you know, he's been through some things as well and stuff, and we get to know a little bit of it, of what happened uh, in his background, and so they show you a little bit of that as well. And, of course, we have these creatures in there. And like I said, you don't see the creatures, you know, all the time, so which is good, but you do see uh, you do see them. When you do see them, it's it's, it's pretty good and pretty uh, nice effects for that. And also, uh, there's also a... Uh, a there's a there's a thing that you see in the trailer, where a Cillian Murphy uh, character tells tells uh, Emily Blunt's character, "Listen, the people that's left are not worth saving." Okay, and 
I'll just leave it at that, and you'll see what she, what he's talking about when you watch the movie. Okay, and I, again, I like this. this is a, it's a nice sequel uh, to the original. Is it as good as the original? No, I don't think it's as good as the first one. Then again, I don't think it could be because that was the first. But this one, I think, is a nice progression to the story and stuff. Like I said, we got that background of, of how things started, and then we got the, the story going forward, and that, which I thought was good, and I would definitely love to revisit these characters again in another movie, if that's possible. Okay, if it happens. Okay, and like I said, good performances from the character, good direction from John Krasinski, and I liked it. It was a nice uh, sequel, and, and, you know, keep making these movies. I, I, I'll keep watching because, I, again, I like the characters, and I like the circumstances, and I like what's happening in the world and like, you know, the, the tension that you get in there wanting, you know, you know, they, they got to be extremely quiet or else these creatures are coming to, to, you know, to wreck havoc. Okay. So anyway, let me know what you think of, uh, a quiet place part two. I'm going to give it, uh, this one, I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it a seven point seven point eight. Okay. I really like, uh, like I said, I don't think it's as good as the original, but I think this is a nice progression of the story. Okay, and again, love the characters and care, and I actually care about what's going to happen to them. Okay, and so of course you're, you're you have that tension, you know, wondering if they're going to survive or not. So, anyway, uh, seven point eight for me. Let me know what you think. If you've seen it, what do you think of it? Feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my social media in the description box: Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, have a link to my other channel called Views and Opinions. If you check that out as well. Also, have a link uh, to my Patreon channel. Please check that out as well. It's five dollars a month. Check it out. Tons of content on there. Okay, and if you check, uh, there's another, there's a video where I made an update video, so you can see uh, what what the latest thing that's on my Patreon channel, okay, and what it's costing, what's it about, okay, and this is Trey Pass, so saying so long and take care.